Hello and welcome Libra. Welcome to your November 2022 general reading with myself, Thomas Anak. You are watching Thomas's Tower readings. Please like, subscribe and share. And if you like my work, you can now buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. Now, before we get into your reading, uh, a couple of things up front, really, really important. Number one, November is obviously the 11th month and 11 is a master number same double digit number and 11 is the strongest number there is so that just translates into the fact that november has a bit more oomph and if you are manifesting anything this month there's a much better chance to actually achieving things because of the higher energy that is lent to the entire month of November. <clears throat> now, how awesome is that, eh? Secondly, I urge you to watch the November full moon reading. Um, you will find it here on the channel. Please subscribe. Um, because there is a bit of a of a ditch around the time of the full moon, but I will get into this um, in the full moon reading video. In any case, what we will do here, Libras, we will divide the reading into sections, so it's a little bit easier to probably make sense of things. So what we will do is we will look at the overall energy for the months of November, uh, before we then look into your emotional core, see if there's love coming in, if there's trauma that can go, that kind of stuff. And then lastly, we look a little, we will, <laughs> lastly, we will look at opportunities as they present themselves to you in the month of November for the sign of Libra. Here we go. So the overall energy, the overall energy for the sign of Libra for the month of November is the deer. <clears throat> and what that means is that you are asked to pace yourself this month. No stress, easier said than done. But the point is. Libra is the seventh, seventh sign, and seven is the highest number of protection and healing. So you are, um, astrologically speaking, a sign that is very much affected massively by any negativity that comes your way. You are governed by, the, by Venus, and Venus is the only planet that... Um, rotates differently to any other planet in the solar system. And what that means is <clears throat> that all the other planets apart from yours travel anti-clockwise. And spiritually speaking, when you when you travel anti-clockwise, everything you do anti-clockwise is you take out stuff that is no longer needed. You, on the other hand side, Venus, Libra, <laughs> you put in harmony. And while this sounds really, really fantastic, it means that you also stay in situations longer than you probably should because you always see the best in everybody and um, therefore when it comes to making changes you may be a little bit slow and maybe you uh, give second chances third chances fourth chances that kind of stuff um, so by default Librans can to a large extent be overridden by a dominant person Okay, um, doesn't sound, I'm not trying to sound as negative as it probably comes across, but the point is with Libras, your emotions mean everything to you. And the overall energy here feels to me very emotional. So what the guides are saying is, pace yourself. Do things, not half speed, but do things slower this month. Allow yourself to, and also very important, Allow yourself to detach yourself a little, right? See things from a different point of view, um, rather than always being in issues. Because you will notice when you actually detach yourself, there's a lot of things that Libras do that aren't really your battles. So you're being supportive. Oftentimes it feels like, you know, you're supporting everybody, regardless of whether or not their shit is your shit. Really, really important not to do this. Okay, so first, first um, 
first topic here for you is to to learn to stay detached a little and pace yourself right so in other words if anything feels like uh you know the shit hits the fan and it's really really going to be difficult you know don't give into that energy remove yourself pace yourself right as they say rome wasn't built in a day <laughs> and it's important for you to understand that you do not have to rush anything and pay attention to who and what is rushing you okay so let's look at to your emotional core even though to a certain extent we already have <laughs> so let's have a look what we got for your emotional core for your emotional core again um seems to be one of those months you have the dove and the dove again is an animal that has 358 degrees vision and so you literally have have eyes at the back of your head what the guides are saying to you is being the the dove being the the bird of the bird of uh, the, you know uh, wisdom and the bird of peace what you're really after especially this month in november is harmony now that's a libra trait no other sign is as interested in balance than you are that's why you are depicted by an old fashioned scale Right, in any case, your emotional uh, animal guide that showed up here is the dove. And you're being asked, literally, again, to allow yourself to put yourself first. Prioritize yourself for a change. So what I'm getting here is, um, with regards to energy, energy um, what responds here while I'm doing the reading is my, my sternum. And the sternum is part of the heart chakra, but the sternum is the part where rejection sits. So what that really translates to is that um, this is a good month to allow yourself to release um, anger, frustration and pain, right? And, and also, because you have the dove, bird of peace, there were times when pigeons, same thing, um, were given metals and now they're being called pests, right? So, you know, so how how quickly do we forget if that makes sense right point is not everybody not everybody gives you the credit that is due right that is another depiction that the um the dove clearly shows uh but because your sternum where your rejection sits is acting up um it's important to allow yourself to 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 prioritize yourself what comes to mind is for you to have um positive affirmations maybe find a positive mantra um, that would go a, a long way certainly okay so therefore with your regards to your emotions rather than love coming in I'm not saying it's not coming in i just don't get it here uh feels much more to me because you have the sternum affected here um about reflecting on how much old pain there is and allow yourself to see yourself as awesome beautiful powerful all these positive things because that's what you manifest the universe can only answer you on your energy so if you understand that people have to deserve yourself first the universe can only send you people then that want you to do well okay so lastly let's have a look at the um opportunities as they present themselves to you in the months of um november you have the domesticated cat which means Opportunities may not come in super abundant, right? It's also in November a logical thing because close to Christmas, um, close to December, a lot of companies wouldn't even hire. But what I'm getting is because you have the domesticated cat. Again, this seems to be the, the overall uh, issue here or topic here with Libras. The cat also, which is why we love them so much, they do their own thing. Everything on your own terms so when it comes to opportunities do not chase don't go where you feel like yeah but this gives me more money and this gives me more blah 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 blah. it's not about that it's about how does this job make me feel right can i see myself going there and being happy right easiest trick is to always detach yourself and then put your best friend into your position and then you look at what it is you're, you're planning then you ask yourself would i ask my best friend to do that job i mean the answer is not sure you got your answer but the cat is saying to you when things come to you don't just jump at them 
right? Again, it's all about pacing here, right? Pace yourself. Look at it very detached, right? And then you respond on your own good time. Really, really important. Okay, now Libras, as you can see, it feels to me that, that um, what is needed here in November for you is a much slower pace than what is normally happening. And sometimes you need to force this because when you are the giver, the person that always looking for harmony, uh, that, so therefore you're always supportive, a lot of people will take that for granted. That doesn't make them bad people, it just makes them opportunists. Or opportunists, you know, English not my first language, so sometimes I don't get the words, <laughs> but you understand. So, Librans, that's all we have time for. Um, like I said, please like, subscribe and share. Um, so that you, especially subscribing, so that you don't miss the next videos. And please, please, please um, find the um, November full moon reading because that will affect you very much too. See you next month. Bye bye.